Hi, wanted to show you quickly uh, an application running on the new BlackBerry Play Playbook tablet device. We demonstrated recently an ArcGIS application running on the on the BlackBerry t tablet, um, which had which was a very modular application. Something that we took off the web and, and wondered if we could put onto this device. Well, we've done something similar with, uh, with in the open source world. So we've got an open scales application running here. Now this is a flex application that we built for the web originally. What we've done here is we've actually built it as an air application. So we've ported it over to, to make it an air application. We're now running on this particular device. Let me tell you a little bit about the framework first. We've actually built it on a very flex in a very flexible way. The framework it's built on programmatically is allows us to very quickly add tools to this application. So the kind of things that uh, mapping and GIS applications require, measure tools, draw tools, um, coordinates tools, um, address search tools, those type of tools that you, you commonly see in applications, ArcGIS applications or indeed open source applications. We've, we, this application will allow us to drop those in quite quickly. Um, so in terms of the software, we use an open scale, the open scale's Flex API on the front end and we're using GeoServer on the back end. GeoServer is the open source equivalent of ArcGIS. Um, and OpenScales is a very, very, is a new, um, sort of an equivalent to open layers in the JavaScript world, but it's, it's a really, really nice um, flex API. So, what are you looking at here on the screen? You're basically looking at a couple of layers, and they're listed in this layers box here. You're looking at a base layer, which is a states layer. We're using um, we're using actually open scales here. Sorry, I'm going to change what I just said. The base map is actually open scales of the world, um, and that's a vector that's a vector base map. Overlaid on top of that is a states layer, as indicated here. Now that's WMS, so it's an actually it's, it's, a, it's an image overlay. It's served up by GeoServer. Um, again, when we work with with, uh, with, with um, servers like GeoServer, they're OGC compliant, so we can do things like we can make do GML queries, we can we can we can overlay WMS, we can overlay WFS as well, and, and I won't talk in much detail about WFS, but WFS will basically allow us to interact with objects on the screen. So if we overlay a WFS states layer on top of this, we can actually select Utah, for example. It will be highlighted. We can find out attri the attributes of that state, and that's all on the client. So WFS adds a whole whole area of, of interactivity that we won't talk about now, but we can do that with using the OpenScale's Geo Server combination. Um, you could do the equivalent of ArcGIS, but you can't do the WFS. So anyway, um, so this is a WMS overlay on top of an OpenScale uh, Open Layers base map. Um, so uh, we can do classic panning and it's and it's I, I, we've compared it with the with the ArcGIS um, application and it's not as smooth you can see the 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 pan itself is not as smooth but still it gives we've got that functionality there um, now we've oversized some of the items in here so we've got a tools option here and we've oversized the buttons there because obviously one of the challenges when one's using mobile devices is to actually be able to hit a button and have a have a an interactive ability to 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 hit that tool and have it do something if the button's too small your fingers too fat to be able to actually hit that correct spot so there's issues with finger interaction which we're currently uh, will be building into this application so the tools themselves are oversized so we can just show the functionality um, on screen you've basically got the layer list that I've just mentioned now there are those two buttons there actually do allow you to change the transparency of the layers so um, there we'll, I'll give a link to the web application where you can see this more clearly but I my, these buttons are now at the moment too small for you to show it but you should be able to have a slider you there is a slider here if I could open it which would change the transparency of the base map and and the overlay um, we've got an overview map here as well um, which which shows the extent of the map. Um, so there's there's the there's a trans there's the actual extent given to the map there that rec that red rectangle. In the top left hand side there there is a zoom slider and a pan tool. So what that allows obviously to do as you as you see in in, in, in a lot of uh, in Google and etc. Google Maps ArcGIS Maps is to to slide that 
and zoom them out. Again, I, I've tried to slide that and that button is too small for me to actually slide my finger along, so I won't even demonstrate that in this application. So let's just do a couple of quick things. We show pan in the map. We can actually open and close it. We've only, we really haven't added any, any cool tools at the moment into this. Um, we just wanted to do a proof of concept with this. But for example, we can open, close and open the overview map. We can close and open the layers map. These aren't movable at the moment. We could easily make these movable items, closable items from the actual, the actual window itself. But uh, by hitting these buttons here, it'll, uh, it'll actually close them. Um, let's do something interactive with it. Let's just use the overview map to actually pan, pan the map. So if I do there, we'll actually go to Africa. Again, we lose the WMS layers because we only have OpenStreetMap for the rest of the world. But uh, it gives you an idea about giving that, using that overview map to, to actually change the extent and pan the map. And let's go back to the states. There we go. And there's the states as well. And again, you saw that the WMS layer being drawn over the top of, the, uh, of that base map. So, so we're good. And let's just see. I'm going to try and hit the... This this full size um, button. This should get this should give us full extent, but it's been a bit flaky. Last time I tried it, so that may actually not work. Okay, well that's okay. But it, it, there is a there is a full extent button there, which uh, should work. So we're working on this. We've got to get some of the uh, finger interactions right. We've got to make the the some of the um, the uh, yeah the buttons bigger. And we're going to add functionality to this as well. Some more advanced tools. So this is kind of work in progress, but I wanted to show you that these type of these type of open source mapping and GIS tools do actually work on these new mobile devices, and we're very excited that we can now actually build these using uh, Flex and indeed Air. Thanks for watching.